Good morning, YouTube. I'm about to hit the shower and then we're gonna roll out. We were gonna do some hunting today, but I actually think we're going to get some dogs. Dead serious. It is raining up in Barcelona. Yeah, I can see it raining from here, but we're super clear on the coast. Okay, yours truly is showered up. Real Babes is excited beyond belief. We are on Route 681 and it's traffic. There's always traffic on the weekends. Jose is actually right ahead of us in traffic and he's gonna stop. Uh, he's real big on those codfish fritters. What are they called? Uh, bacaloitas. Bacalitas. Bacalitas? Yeah. So they're real thin, crispy. It looks sort of like a pancake, but it is like a, like a real, real crispy, like elephant ear texture. And um, yeah, they've got that codfish. That, I don't know. I'm not a big fishy person. I'll eat them. Jose and Real Babes love them. Yeah, they're like cod fritters fried. We're not 100% sure we're gonna go get the dogs today because it's Sunday and we doubt there's gonna be anybody on the farm working. So we might do that tomorrow. Okay, Jose is up here. He stopped to get one of those fritters. I turned on the siren and I think Real Babes is gonna light it up when we pass Jose. Here, Real right? babes can smell the pinchos, the pinchos, so now she wants to stop. Pinchos are basically kebabs, pork or chicken. I don't see them. Oh, what do you mean? They might be over at the boat ramp. He said he was at the river. Yeah. Oh, there he is, right there, right there. Go, give him the siren once. <laughs> <laughs> There's Jose. Cow stampede. <laughs> oh, you got pineapple trees over there? <laughs> you shouldn't have problems keeping any of them around with those. No, nah, dude. Mangoes over there. We killed, we killed like 20 of them out of there yesterday, and they're all back. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, he's now he's moving a little. He, he's right there. You can just see his yellow. Oh, there, there he is. There you go. I heard it now. <laughs> I got him. That was a skull crusher. I heard it now. That's yeah, I ball. heard him when back. Can, that that lit pans and that skull. Dude. But the fucker doesn't want to fall out of a tree though. No, he's no, they'll hang on with one claw, man. You got to climb. We use the old man trash grabbers oh, from Harbor Freight yeah. to reach up and pull them down. He's stuck. Yeah. He's been hanging here. I think the girls are all picking breadfruit. How's the breadfruit looking? I, I, you know, it looks great. Does it? Yeah. I'm excited to make it. Just got the new Hatsan Jet 2 and we are having an issues with the foster filling. So it won't take a regular one. They've got this long one included with it and it takes that great, but we don't have any fittings. I'm gonna have to get a female to male foster and rig that up. Oh my God. It's not that good. No, I used to drive Yeah, those are a lot. Yeah. Not with the wind like this. So I'm gonna go eat one. <laughs> How are the mangoes looking? Good. Yeah, they weren't looking ripe to me and then Wanda brought those up and I was feeling they're really soft. Yep. I decided to come out and grab one and I saw y'all here. Yeah. These ones are still pretty hard. Yeah, the leaves definitely look like star fruit. Yeah. I didn't even think about that until you pointed it out. It look Wanda had to give me a quick mango tutorial. I couldn't find any ripe ones. 
<laughs> how is the mango? It's a hairy fruit. I love hairy fruit. I don't like how it gets stuck in your teeth though. <laughs> Was that one of the green ones like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. More than I show that one either. That'd be kind of cool. What, the Diablo versus the slugs? Yep. He says that that one won't go through the breadfruit. Cheap versus heavy. Yeah, yeah. I mean versus expensive. Yeah. Round nose, hollow point. Some people, ah, no, there's a reason. You saw that thing inside of the new one. Yeah, that thing gets complete expansion. I mean, really? It was yeah. all target practice. practicing. That's my comparison. So this thing doesn't have a reason to stop. You're shooting 25.39 on left? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Score to your axe. Heavier. Slug. 335. So I already know my marks on my scope. Oh, I see that dripping from here. I saw the splash damage. Mm hmm. Let's so see if we can capture the slug or the pellet. We can see if we could uh, Well, both went true. Yeah, yeah. Very, but look at how much yeah. matter yeah, on that one. Yeah, that one barely. Look at the hole, actually, yeah. hole in this one. Yeah. Uh, and this is clean cleaner. through, just yep. clean. That one's just dripping a little. That one, that's a good wound channel. Look at the back. See how much bigger. Uh, wait, wait, wait. They both went through. Right here. Yeah. They oh, both yeah, went yeah, yeah. Right here, we both went through. Here's the pellet. Here's the that's one. not even all the pellet. Yep. So oh, here's the, the slug. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Wow. Just imagine that mangled up piece of lead flying right through you. That wouldn't be too much fun. We're still shooting breadfruit, playing with BB guns. We are getting the jet put together. We managed to uh, rig something up to fill it. Here, let me show YouTube real quick. Okay, we adjusted the eye relief and we brought the bug buster all the way forward, almost like a scout setup. And we adjusted the eye relief and it's got a clear picture of the target. I sort of like it with the scout style scope up I there. I do, I do. You know? It gives it a little bit more of our real estate. All right, where's the safety on this thing? Oh, it's a really, it's off. Yeah, the thing that looks like oh. a mag release. Ew. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. Hat sign. Come on. Something yeah, yeah. It. I've never been something. a fan of hat sign, but I do like this. Oh, you can so do, far. You kind of cannot do it in one hand, but it's so weird and off. It's it's odd feeling. I, you know, I, I noticed there was something weird here, but it, someone that doesn't know shit about guns. I thought it was lost. a release for the stock at first. It's you like a. It's a trigger block safety. Yeah, like just like my Glock. But yeah, yeah. Almost like the Glock. The Glock has a thing on the sides and you cannot press on back, okay? Straight. High right. High right. Two, two. Two, two, you say? Yup. Still. That was high. That looked quite a bit high. Um, are the turrets loose? Uh. We are zeroing some of the new stuff. That is a cut down Avenger we've been playing with. This is the jet and... Oh, it's on. You got that in? I think it's on. Just got the jet on. We're gonna load another magazine and dump that. Make sure it's still got tight grouping, but I'm actually pretty impressed with that so far. Jose is now gonna shoot those double breadfruit because we're sort of just playing. We got everything sided in. I know we're gonna be in a pair Go for it. You know how quiet that is? I see the silencer. Yeah. Three? <laughs> we we'll shoot three times. How about that? Okay.
Do you have any of the slugs you pulled out of the guanas? The one from yesterday I lost, I gotta figure out where I put it. The mango one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, going. Yeah, I got the mango one. I think you split that last one. Oh, no, it flipped it. I think you had passed through on the first, and then the second one caught the energy. The one, oh, it's sliding it off on the ground. I know, I know. Tree stage done. Striker fire. To clip, reset, like we call it, and it's gonna reset, mm -hmm. take up. That's it. You want to spot the, the red down on top of the post. Yep. Thin. Let me see those ones. Oh yeah. Hard lead with antimony, like a craftsman, will like shatter and break apart in pieces. Yeah. Like uh, Hudson has the vortex. Plus, the vortex. Uh, Ben, yeah, Ben, 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 We basically just sighted in rifles, shot breadfruit, mangoes, Jose killed two iguanas, and now we're going to dinner. But Real Babes is pretty stoked with that new Scout Hots on Jet. I call, we're calling it the Scout because it goes in a backpack and we adjusted the eye relief on that bug buster and it's pretty much in a scout position. Okay, YouTube, you can kind of see me. We just ate dinner at the Bucketha Smokehouse and now we are on route to 681. We're heading back to Arecibo. There's the red street lights for sea turtles. And I think we're going to a cockfight, to y'all. What did you think of that? That was definitely a cultural experience. Uh, really interesting. The first guy was like, I need to give you a history lesson on the relations between Puerto Rico and the United States. And, and Spain in Spain and I was like bro I know uh, second guy Victor he was pretty cool New York and here's the red lights over the bridge the beach is to our right and those are red lights so the sea turtles don't get confused that was it y'all we sighted in a bunch of guns did a little bit of iguana hunting, basically just shot iguanas that were in the yard, played with that new hat sand jet, and uh, it was purchased primarily as a backpack gun, and it suits the bill great on that. Um, not super impressed with the accuracy, but we've only fed it one type of pellet so far. So we're gonna continue to play around with that. And then on the way home, it was Sunday, I think, but the cockfights were going on, so we went to the cockfights. And don't know what we're doing today. I've got a couple of videos to get out to y'all. It is Wednesday. The week is halfway over. Love y'all, and we will see y'all soon.